Good morning, Simone. Dante May's death was ruled a homicide as a Peoria County judge said there was overwhelming evidence the child was violently shaken, but no one was ever charged, which has left one family feeling like they can't move on. Dante would have died. Everybody in our house would have went to jail. Somebody would have went to jail. Nobody would have walked free, so I don't understand. Lorraine Washington has spent the last 23 years with someone missing from all her family photos, her son Dante. When I got to the room, he was already dead. They hadn't pronounced him dead, but he was already gone. In 1996, DCFS took Washington's five children after she allegedly abused her oldest son. She says she punished him for taking money from her. She was just 24 at the time, and while working to get her kids back, her three-year-old son suddenly died. But he ate spaghetti and he, allergic to, he was allergic to spaghetti sauce. <laughs> And they messed up his bowels, and that's how that, the abuse came about, because they were angry, because he kept pooping on his stuff. Dante was living with a foster family at the time, one Washington says DCFS planned to remove him from, but he never made it back into her arms alive. And all she kept saying is, if he died, I'm going to jail. Her baby's death was ruled a homicide. The coroner's report showing he died of cerebral injuries from blunt trauma. I remember in a newspaper that just said that it was a homicide. And a Peoria County judge ruled 29-year-old Lorica Ferguson was to blame, but she was never indicted. When I found out that she wasn't going to jail, that nobody was going to be charged, I didn't know what else to do. Washington says prosecutors told her that Dante was in too many adults' hands at one time, making it hard to formally press charges. Well, she says that she didn't kill my son, that he was sick. And he had a brain aneurysm. But Washington doesn't we're, believe that, you know, so she's planning to work with private investigators him. instead. I just feel like once I get justice for him, my life will be a lot better. My kids' life will be a lot better. I spoke to Peoria County State's Attorney Jody Hoos on the phone, and she said that because there wasn't enough evidence to try the case in 1997, new evidence or information would need to be discovered to reopen the case. I also reached out to Dante May's foster mom for comment, but I've yet to hear back. Back to you.